Moving a little bit into the commodities section, let's look at gold. Again, we gave a quick insight around USPCE. We don't know what's going to happen with that number, but I mean, un unless without any material change there, there, we could probably see gold remaining range bound. I'm looking between 1913, 1947, possibly. But you know, what, what do you see? Are we expecting more strength or actually weakness, given the fact that the dollar is continuing to do well? So I think you bring up a great point. We are absolutely, we're first off, uh, yes, we're absolutely kind of stuck at this. Uh, now this is in US dollars, um, but stuck at this, we'll call it 2000, uh, yeah. $2,000 an ounce and, um, you know, a wider range here that we've been building over uh, the last couple of years, right? And we can take this all the way back to really 2011. Um, so yeah. we've just been consolidating around these big highs, um, long-term highs. So I put this on log scale for everyone. Um, yeah, and with strength in the dollar, and we, and we see this, right, if we zoom in short-term, kind of starting to break down here. Um, obviously, we want to see this hold, but strength in the dollar will be a headwind um for the for gold and precious metals um you know silver not a ton better right consolidating it's just been up here for a few years now hasn't really gone anywhere um it's much further below it's 2011 highs so gold you know, if silver was behaving the same as gold, we'd see silver up here around 42, 45 bucks maybe. Mm -hmm. It's still down at 22, very lethargic. You had in a in a bullish um, environment for precious metals, you would uh, ideally, historically speaking, see silver outpace gold. Mm -hmm. um, we would want to see more demand for the risk on assets. Um, right. And we just continue to not. Here's silver versus gold over the last, you know, 13 years or so. And we continue to just kind of muddle around. Really no desire to own either until um, something on the charts happens here. Yeah. Got it. On that, you know, same conversation, we look at oil. A huge conversation started <laughs> that one. Look at WTI crude oil more specifically hit the $91 for the first time in 2023. It showed a little bit of weakness today, but I mean, you could only talk about the short term here. We don't know where it's going to happen next. Some believe it's going to go back to 100. Uh, some believe, you know, we don't know, but a big, big conversation around what it could do to inflation. So well, what are we seeing first in the short term? And what do you think that could mean for the Fed even next or even the economy? Yeah, so short term, uh, very strong. Clearly, we've got, you know, we consolidated a nice base formation here. Um, really, you know, over a nine month span, going back to last November, uh, a couple attempts to, bre to break out above 83 to 4. We finally do it. And um, yeah, it's. It's a pretty big move. So the the next big spot here um, is going to be this 91, same area you mentioned, 91, 92 ish. Um, again, these aren't perfect, but we've got areas of support and resistance. Yeah. Um, and I think that this so far is a pretty healthy consolidation here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we we got up here. We we haven't seen an immediate sell off over the last week or two. Um, it seems that we might just want to consolidate here under you know ninety ninety one bucks for a little bit, and you know then you know we would expect uh, that trend to continue. That's what trends do. We. Yeah. Uh, move higher, move lower, consolidate, and then usually resume in the direction of the overall trend. So uh, maybe conserving a little energy here. And what's fascinating is this is another instrument like 
gold denominated in dollars. So a stronger dollar, you would think that that would have uh, a more of an impact on crude oil prices. Correct. Uh, it really has not. Um, so yeah. and maybe it has, maybe it is a headwind. And even with a stronger dollar, um, we've still got not, uh, oil at $91 a barrel. Well, if we had a weaker dollar, you know, would it already be at a hundred? Uh, there's no way to know that, but this is actually the strongest correlation between the dollar and crude. They're typically uh, inversely correlated, but Correct. we've been on months of a positive correlation mm -hmm. for really the first time in over 20 years. Um, so if, do we continue to see the dollar and crude um, rise together? I'm not sure, but uh, that is the current trend. 